Hello, welcome to Walk and More Time. I'm Perry. So I am on a dual carriageway. Well, stopped by a dual carriageway anyway. In Rushton, and this dual carriageway is called Liberty Way. And you may be wondering why it's called Liberty Way. Uh, it is because of the B17 Miss Liberty Bell. On Thursday, August 3rd, 1944, the crew of the B-17 Miss Liberty Bell were returning from a mission at Merkwill of France. They tried to make an emergency landing at Chelvestin. Due to the severity of damage to the plane, they decided to sacrifice themselves to save the village of Wimington. The bomber had lost two engines, the third was on fire and the fourth still at full power. The plane almost managed to clear Wimington. At 90 knots, the bomber struck the topmost part of a tree. The impact turned the whole plane around passed right over the heads of the home guard waiting in the streets before slamming into the ground. A fire immediately erupted. The 50 calibre bullets on board fired off as the heat grew. Of the two bodies pulled clear of the wreckage were Frank Schmidmeister and Rick Janowicza. Sadly, Janowicza passed away the next day. Floyd Rowe also survived after being thrown out of the bomber just before impact. Miss Liberty Bell was part of the 305th Bombardment Group and the 365th Bomber Squadron at Chelveston. The crew were Tom Barnett, pilot, Roland Wing, co-pilot, Eugene Bonas, bombardier, John Rutherford, navigator, Floyd Rowe, flight engineer, Francie Smitty Schmidtmeister, waste gunner, Rick Murph, Janowicza, ball turret gunner, Chuck Red Naden, tail gunner, Robert Cornier, waste gunner. In 2005, during the construction of the Russian bypass, it was decided to dedicate the bypass to the airmen of the 8th Air Force between the 92nd in Poddington and the 305th in Chelveston, and to commemorate the 60th anniversary of the end of World War II. So if we look over that way, that's Chelveston. Go that way is Wimmington and Poddington.